An Evansville man says his cousin is a teacher at Robb Elementary School in Texas and was one of the victims today. Uh, he says she was shot in the abdomen during the shooting and underwent surgery today. Eyewitness News Bailey Smith talked with him tonight. Bailey? Well, Brad and Shelley, Hugo Avila got one of the worst calls imaginable just today, finding out that his own cousin was involved in this devastating tragedy. And he wasn't even be able to be there with his family. He said it was heart-wrenching. The entire nation has their hearts in Uvalde, Texas, and one man in the tri-state has his own flesh and blood there. It's a small community and every, everyone knows each other. I didn't imagine that would happen there. Hugo Avila grew up in Uvalde, Texas and attended Robb Elementary. His cousin Elsa has been a teacher at that school for years. And on Tuesday, she was one of the victims shot when police say an 18-year-old gunman stormed the school. So I called my mother and that's when she tells me, yeah, your cousin was shot in the stomach. I was like, wow, you don't process that and, and, and really believe it at the moment. Just on Monday, Elsa Avila was celebrating the class of 2022 at the Senior Graduates Day Parade in the exact same halls where the horror took place just one day later. It's not a, a, a common kind of call to receive to say, yeah, you're, there was a school shooting, first of all, in Uvalde, and then, then the, the kids... Uh, the age that were shot, the amount of kids that were shot, and then to top it off, my cousin was shot. Elsa Avila was airlifted to a hospital in San Antonio, and her brother Hector reassured Hugo that the surgery was successful and she would be okay. They're fighters. I mean, that's, that's, uh, so I'm almost surprised. I'm not surprised that she came out of it because they're strong, man, they're strong women, all of them. Hugo Avila lives in Evansville, Indiana now and works part time as a boxing instructor. He said although he lives thousands of miles away, he is still extremely close to his family. I cannot imagine what, what my aunt and my cousins are going through. It just makes me wish I was there, but yeah, I can't, can't be at the moment. And like all of us, Avila says he is still in disbelief. I mean, kids were killed. What, do you, what can you say to that? Oh, man, I, I, I pray for all of them. I, I, you know, I, I did pray for them. It's just, I can't even believe it, really. But they don't sleep, and he resides everywhere, so... Avila says that this should make people realize that they need to reach out to their loved ones more and take advantage of every moment that you get with them.